So here I'm going to produce two or three extra videos to show how we walk through problems on thin film interference. I know in your text it's a very short section uh, and it makes it look a little bit easier than it is. So it just takes a little bit of practice and then you'll be able to figure it out. All right. So uh, the first problem here, we're looking at motor oil. So if motor oil is placed on top of water and that motor oil has a refractive index, let's write it down, of n is equal to 1.5, what happens is that oil forms an orange colored film due to thin film interference. Assuming the orange is 600 nanometer wavelength, calculate the thickness of the film. So they're trying to get us to calculate what is that thickness. All right, and we need to figure out the formula. So we have two different formulas to use. We have the formula two times the thickness of that film times the refractive index is equal to m lambda, or we have the formula 2 times the thickness of the film times the refractive index is equal to m plus 1 half lambda. Okay, and it's up to us to choose which one. Is it this situation that we're looking at, or is it this situation that we're looking at that creates constructive interference? In order to select which of these formulas, I need to be able to figure out the phase shifts that are occurring. And to understand, does the path length here correspond to a full number of wavelengths that come out or a half wavelength that comes out? Okay, and we have to look at the phase shifts that are occurring due to reflection. All right, so let's take a look. Is there a phase shift? Uh, let's do this to color. Is there a phase shift over here? Well, we're going from low refractive index, n is equal to one, to higher refractive index, so over here I would say is a phase shift. That's correct, okay? So there's gonna be a half wavelength shift at that point over here. So what's happening at that point? Is there gonna be a phase shift? Remember, we, this is exactly the same as the problem I presented in the last video. The refractive index of water is 1.3, so it's going from high to low, so there would be a reflection without a phase shift. So over here, I would say that there is no phase shift. Okay, so all in all, that means that what has to happen is that the wave traveling in here has to come out with an extra half wavelength in order to be able to match up, okay? And because of that extra half wavelength condition, that means that the formula that we're going to be using is going to be this one. Because this tells us that we have 2 times the thickness, so down and up, 2 times the thickness times the refractive index will give me an order of half wavelengths difference. Okay, so it'll be like 5.5 or 6.5 or 7.5 wavelengths. Okay, that comes out in order to overlap with the original wave that reflected. So we have chosen this equation due to the phase shifts that are occur. Hopefully that logic uh, will be in play when you solve these problems. So step number one, select which equation applies to that problem. Now that we've selected the equation based on looking at the phase shifts, we can then start plugging numbers in or rearranging the equation in order to figure the things out. So we are trying to solve for the thickness of that oil so let's isolate that. So the thickness of the oil is going to be m plus 1 half wavelength divided by 2 times n, okay, which actually is n is equal to, if I'm going to say the thinnest, the thinnest thickness that is possible, that would be when m is equal to 0. That would be the thinnest oil film that we can have is when m is equal to 0. So in that case, we would then have... Uh, one half of a wavelength times two times n, all right? And then the thickness is going to be equal to lambda divided by 4n. That's an important relationship to know, okay? You can speed these problems up if you've practiced enough, that the thickness of that oil under this condition would be the wavelength divided by 4 times n. That, that's a quick thing to do if you've practiced enough of these problems. Okay, and in this case, we are going to have the thickness is going to be equal to 600 times 4 times 1.5, which is going to be 4 times 1.5 is 6, 
So that makes a very simple answer that my thickness is going to be equal to 100 nanometers. Okay, that was quick and easy. So the thickness of that oil is 100 nanometers based on this equation. So if it's a 100 nanometer thick oil film, that 100 nanometer thick oil film is going to reflect constructively 600 nanometer orange light. And to us looking at it, that constructive interference would make that oil film look orange.